Hi everyone, it's Patricia. Today I want to share a project I created for a challenge that we are having over at Diane Rose's blog. And this month's challenge that we are having is the sketch challenge that Arlene created the sketch for us to uh, work with it this month. And it's super cute. I really like how um, the sketch came together that Arlene created. So uh, basically the sketch could be interpreted any way you guys see the sketch. You could reverse it and you could use it in um, a layout, a card, any alterable item if you guys want. And the um, sketch challenge starts today, July 9th, and uh, it ends July 28th. So it gives you guys plenty of time to uh, make a card or a layout. It's really up to you guys. And I'll also have the link down below so you guys can see all the official rules over at the Iron Roses blog. And all the designers will have a video up and also pictures on Facebook and in their blogs for some inspiration on what you can create this month for the sketch challenge. So uh, let me get started and share with you guys what I created. I altered this um, Kaiser Craft ornate frame that I purchased a while back. And uh, it was super fun creating this for my daughter's bedroom. I had tons of fun altering it, super cute. Totally gonna have to go back and purchase another one because it really hurt for me to use it. I wanted to hoard it. And uh, the cool thing about the frame is that the pictures actually removed. So um, if my daughter wanted to replace them and add the uh, pictures as she grows up, she can do that. I can add pictures all the time differently here for her to display her bedroom. So first I started with the frame. I um, sprayed some uh, Lindy Stamp Gang um, Rambling Rose Pink on the frame. And it's super beautiful. I love the shimmer on the... Uh, this uh, spray right here and also I used the, the Gloria Deceased Gold so I combined those two together first I uh, did the pink I dabbed the pink all over it and then after that dried I went over with the Gloria of the Seas Gold on top of it and then after that I also uh, went in with the Tether Angels Glimmer Mist, the Dazzling Diamonds, because on the sketch Arlene has like these splatter marks all over it. So I decided to do my splatter marks on the actual frame, if you guys could see it. It's super beautiful. I love all the, the shimmer the frame uh, has. And I really like how the splatters came out on the frame all over it. For the paper on the frame, I used my Mai Zai blush. I used a 12 by 12 paper to cover the, the back of the frame and I also fussy cut this bird right here because I only had one bird on the top of the frame. So I fussy cut that one and I glued it there. Super durable how that turned out. And then I also used um, the My Mind's Eye blush paper, the 6 by 6 to um, mat the pictures. So this is my daughter and our dog Alicia, super adorable. And I also used it on this one right here. So if you guys could see, the pictures do remove. So I can add new pictures all the time. And these are Savannah's favorite um, teddies right now that she's really loving it. So I used pink paisley twine on top of the picture just to add some cuteness to the picture. And I also matted the picture with the Mama's Eye blush paper. Super adorable. And then after that, I also drew this uh, little girl silhouette image right here that I also used my mind's eye blush paper. On top of her head, I have this acetate uh, with a doily design on here that I used a Sizzix uh, dye to cut that out. Super cute, if you guys could see it. It's adorable, the, the shape with the hearts. And then on top of that, I used this pink crochet uh, doily right here. On top of the doily, I punched out these butterflies by my Martha Stewart punch and I doubled them uh, with the two papers from my mind's eye blush paper. I had some Prima bling on them. Super cute. I really like how the butterflies turned out on this frame. I really like the black and white stripes. Really adorable. So I add two butterflies on top, one on the bottom, and also one right here on top of the spray here as well. Really cute. And then after that, I also used um, this Kaiser Craft wood um, iron gates right here. It's really precious. Very delicate. I really like how it turned out on the frame. And uh, I didn't distress the iron gate. I just left the beer wood. I really like the natural wood tone to the the gate. Really cute. And then right here for this beautiful spray, I used the R50-3 3-inch rose. Precious. I love these 3-inch flowers that uh, Iron Roses carries. Really beautiful. And then I also used the R40 right here. So I used one here and also one right here. And then I also used uh, some uh, light cherry blossoms in the pink tone. And this is the S3. Really beautiful. So I used four throughout the spray. And then I also used the R3 small uh, mini roses. 
precious. I had one here and also one back there and one right there as well. And then I also used some leaves from Iron Roses. So the eye number is L0-721. And uh, I really like the light tone to these leaves. Very shabby chic, very cute. So I added some throughout the, the spray right there. And then I also used some crystal sprays and pink tones, green tones, really adorable just to give more dimension to the spray and the frame. I really like how that spray turned out, really precious. And then right here at the bottom, I just stamped um, another small banner in my life. And uh, I used um, American Craft Alpha stamps to stamp in my life. I distressed the banner with using the Tim Holtz Vintage Fold and I just popped up the corners like so. On top it says such a lovely day so I thought it went so well in my life because uh, Savannah is always saying mom today was the best day ever. So uh, then the picture just goes um, in like this. I just uh, tuck them in there. And um, so it goes in like so. And then this little one. So this is a wall size of photo right here. It just gets tucked in there too, like that. Really adorable. And to hang it up on uh, Savannah's wall, I put this um, double satin uh, pink ribbon here. Really cute. I really like how uh, the ribbon just gives a unique look to the frame also when it's uh, hanging up on her wall. I had a lot of fun altering this um, frame for my daughter's bedroom. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys can join us this month for the sketch challenge that we are having over at Diane Rose's blog. Can't wait to see all your submissions guys. I know everything is going to be so beautiful. I want to thank you again guys for watching and for leaving beautiful comments and as always guys happy scrapping. Bye guys.